What's up guys, Ken here with the Shop Mini RC and I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant today. Um, I've made a post and a uh, little meme thing, put it in some of the groups and it's about the new Axial Capra, the 118th Capra and the new TRX4M 118th scale trucks. And I've mentioned this before, like when the new, when the new FCX came out, these guys, I kind of complained a little bit about scale and how the body wasn't scale and um, it's it's not it's just not scale this is a basically a 1 18th or if you want to get technical like a 1 19th maybe scale body but it's you know the, the wheelbase and whatnot does make it much closer to a 1 24th and now with the max smasher out the max smasher is straight up a 1 24 scale monster truck so it's not that bad but it is a little off you know this is a 1 18th scale up here um, the Enduro 24 is much closer to 124 scale, but here, here's my point. So I want to talk about it a little bit and why it bothers me when a company like Axial puts out this 118th Capra that is not even close to 118th. And we'll show some images and stuff, but the, the Capra, th this thing is much closer to a 112 scale, like much closer. And some people will be like, well, why does scale matter? Scale doesn't matter. It's just, you like the size of the truck, you buy the truck you like. Simple as that. But there is more implication to it than that, and there's abuse happening from the companies, right? Like, they're using this 118th scale as a marketing tool or a, an attack or a ploy or however you want to look at it on the 118th market, right? So, basically, Traxxas releases their 118th, Axial comes out with their 118th, and when you compare them side by side, people are going to be like, oh, man, the, the Axial just destroys it. And the same thing kind of goes with the FCXs, right? Like, they're a much larger uh, wheel and tire, they're a little bit longer wheelbase, and they outperform the SCX24. Why do they outperform the SCX24? They're bigger. So when you're like, in the, I'm in the market for a 24 scale, well, do you get the Kyosho Mini Z 124 scale? Most people say they suck. And they don't suck. They, they are just not going to be able to perform the same as a 118th or a 112th or a 110th or a 16th because they're true 124 scale. So they're smaller. So when you start to put them into categories like scale, 124th is not the same across the board, right? So a 124th Mini Z, which is true 124th, same with like the Trail Finder and this Enduro, they're much closer to actual 124th than the SEX24. The SEX24, I've, I've put up a chart. You can see that they're basically depending on the body, um, because one-to-one -one sizes are different, but they're anywhere between 123, 124, all the way down to 121st scale. So that's a big difference between a 121st and a 124th Kyosho. Is a, there's a big difference there as far as how it's going to perform. Even if they're the exact same components, let's say hypothetically you took the Kyosho 124 scale Mini Z and you made it a 118th size, but it's the exact same components. It would compete just fine. It would just, it would probably crush the SCX24 and the FCX24. Because it's larger. That's that's it. It's, it's pretty much as simple as that. There are, you know, minute details in, in how actual components do perform. So I'm not going to argue there. You know, if you've got oil shocks and stuff like that, there is going to be perf actual performance differences. But realistically, the size makes such a huge difference. And that's why we all add a couple millimeters to length and width on our, on our SCX24s and FCX24 crawlers. Because if you take this guy and this guy and you compare them, they're both deadbolts, but yes, look at the width on that. Much, much bigger, right? And it's going to just perform way better. It's got a longer wheelbase, and it's wider. It's going to perform better. It's lower. It's not just higher quality or better components. It's literally the dimensions of the thing make it crawl better, right? So when you have somebody come into the arena with a 118th scale Capra and tracks us with their 118th scale trail trucks, there's no comparison. There really is no comparison. And it's kind of an abuse on the scale system by Axial to call this thing a 118 scale because they're strictly going after that market, right? They're saying, we're gonna produce this thing for the 118 scale market, but it's not 118 scale. It's not even close, right? So it just kind of frustrates me when I'm trying to help educate new people on the hobby and new people are coming in, or there's even you know people that do comp organizations um, you know, or organized comp events and new people come in and they're bringing their, you know, they see that something's 124 scale comp event and they bring in their 124 scale, you know, Kyosho and it just gets crushed by these 120th scale SEX 24s. And, um, you know, the same is going to happen. People are going to bring this Capra in thinking it's one on the, on the other side, they're going to bring in their 118th Capra, <clears throat> but it's just too big. You, you can't run it on the course. You sure as hell can't run it on an indoor course. There's no way it's, it's really an outdoor crawler. And I get that. Yeah, fine. That's fine. You know, maybe those new people need to do their research. They need to know what they're buying. But in my opinion, the manufacturer should help educate the public. 
not just prey on them with marketing ploys and marketing terms and trying to group things together that aren't really meant to be grouped together. I know, I'm sorry, I'm ranting, but it just really bothers me. Um, it's, it's okay if the, the Capra was, you know, much closer to a 112th scale and they called it a 114th. Fine. You know, it's not that big of a deal. 124th down to 120th. But at some point, you've got to kind of draw the line. Otherwise, they should have just called the Capra a 124th. Because at that point, what does scale even matter? Why even put the label? Um, in Mini Z racing and a lot in on road racing and whatnot, they do a lot just by wheelbase length, right? So um, in Mini Zs, you have 98 millimeter wheelbase. That's a certain class. A 102 millimeter wheelbase, a little bit longer, is a different class. They don't really do it by scale. I mean, they're all 128, 127 scale, but it's really more about the wheelbase. And maybe that's the direction that comps should go if people are worried about comps. Um, just do it by wheelbase length and width from the tires, not necessarily the body because the body's changed so dramatically. I mean, you 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 can have the same wheelbase here and here, right? These are the exact same wheelbase. But this is clearly a one like one eighteenth or one sixteenth scale bug. It's much it's much bigger, but it's the exact same wheelbase as the FCX twenty four. This is the FuraTech chassis, so it's it's pretty much it, it's the exact same wheelbase, right? But the body is bigger, and if you were to pull and throw this body on there, right? Like, this is a smaller scale body, but it's the same exact wheelbase. So I understand the issues with scale. But again, when you're marketing out of the box, when you start modifying stuff, totally different. But when you're marketing something straight out of the box, brand new, manufactured, I feel like we need to put the pressure on the manufacturers to be a little bit more accurate in this stuff. Otherwise, they're just going to keep doing it. And it just gets worse. And I know it's been years and people complained about it, and, but nobody really gets loud about it. And they just say, whatever, it's just the way it is. But again, if we want to grow the hobby, new people need to understand the hobby. And to say, here's a 118th that's really a 112th or 114th. Oh, and here's a 124th that's really a you know, 128th or something crazy like that. It, it doesn't help the new person learn. And it doesn't make them feel comfortable in the space when they don't understand why everything's so different. And I get it. Manufacturers are going to be manufacturers. They're going to do what they want to do. And they have different standards. But they're just going too far. And I think this is really going too far, right? Like... I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm ranting. Tell me in the comments below what your thoughts are. I'm really kind of curious to know what the community thinks, or at least my community that deals primarily in mini RC. You know, I feel like the people that don't care are generally the people that are into the larger scales and they're just, there's no standard there really. Uh, they just kind of build things however, and they don't really care. But again, imagine if Axial came out and they, or Traxxas came out and they're marketing at one tenth scale competitor and it's really one fifth scale. You know, it's just huge. And um, it's clearly not a one tenth scale, but they're they're calling it a one tenth scale. I mean, doesn't that make you feel a little off and a little uh, betrayed by the manufacturer? I just, it, it bothers me a lot. And, you know, I'm not complaining that it needs to be exact and accurate, but this Capra, it's a, it's a side-by-side, -side, right? It's a, look at the, the figures inside the interior. It's literally a larger wheelbase side-by-side, -side, which means it should be smaller than a Defender, right? It's a side-by-side. -side. It's a trail. It says it. It's, a, it's, it's just, ugh, it's so frustrating. But, um, but it's way bigger, way bigger, you know? They're just preying on people's ignorance, I guess. Um, hoping that people don't understand the difference. Hoping that they sell more because it's a 1 Doesn't that feel kind of like a betrayal of your confidence and what they should, they should be educating. <sighs> Sorry guys. Let me know your thoughts. Go ahead and put the, the like and the subscribe and the share and the notification bell. So you know, when new videos are coming, you know, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. I love the hobby. I love the space. I love, you know, the manufacturers axials probably gonna blacklist me cause I'm talking bad about them, but whatever, you know, it's one of those things where just be honest with what you're producing and, um, Try to help educate the masses, right? With your marketing, with your marketing. Like don't deceive the masses with your marketing, educate them. And I think that's really my bigger issue. Um, it's like a clickbait title. It's like clickbait. Or maybe maybe they did it because they knew people would get rallied up and riled up and that's exactly what I'm doing. And so I'm promoting it anyway. But again, it's not necessarily good promotion, but hey, bad promotion is still promotion. So I don't know. anyway, comment below. Tell me your thoughts. Get out there, run your cars. Maybe we'll pick one up just to, Check it out again, but it's not because I know we're not. I, I'm going to straight up say we're not going to pick one up because our cutoff is realistically like in my mind, mini RC starts at 1 16th, right? 1 16th and smaller is kind of mini RC. The mini B 
is, is a 116th scale. Mini T is a 118th scale. And so we don't really want to do anything larger than 116th, 118th. And this thing is not that. So we'll probably pick up a TRX4M um, because they look good and they seem like a good price point, 150. And again, the Capra is awesome from a quality standpoint. Just everything I've seen about it, there's tons of videos out there already. Great quality. It's worth every cent of the $250. You know, maybe it should have had a wheel steering to be a true capper or portals, one or the other. Um, but it seems like it's going to be really great quality, but it's all like one tenth scale stuff. Even the servo is a one tenth scale servo, which is really cool, but it's not one eighteenth, not even close. So we just, we're not going to pick one up. I'll stay it right now. We will not pick up uh, the new axial capper. If it were a one, if it were a true one eighteenth, maybe even a one sixteenth, then we'd pick it up. But not today, axial. You're not getting us. Even though it says 118th, I want to get it, but I know it's not. So it's just, it's the size. Again, we want to stick to an actual physical size. 116th and smaller is kind of our, our cutoff. So, all right. Have a good night, guys. Have a good week. Grow the hobby. Invite some people. Let them borrow your cars. Get out there. Run them. Bye.